When it comes to multinational collaborations for large military projects, you tend to see leadership from larger nations, whether it be Germany, France or the United Kingdom when it comes to European initiatives. But the Euroguard semi-autonomous ship project is being led by Estonia of all countries. With the whole of the first ship scheduled for completion in the spring of 2026, Euroguard looks to be an exciting new offering when it comes to maritime defense. So, let's take a look at this project for today's video. Before we begin, we have to emphasize that very few visuals have emerged from this project. As such, we'll display ships produced by Euroguard's participating organizations. It was on October 29, 2025, that Estonia's Center for Defense Investments, the RKIK, announced that the Euroguard project was making progress. In early October, those involved in the project met in Rome to discuss further steps for the implementation of development activities. As explained by the RKIK, Euroguard is all about developing a 45-meter semi-autonomous ship which can be adapted to the needs of various maritime operations thanks to modular solutions. The ship can be used both independently and as part of a larger fleet, with the hull to be built at the Baltic Workboats factory in Saaremaa, Estonia. Said to be equipped with various world-class cutting-edge technologies, the hull is scheduled for completion in the spring of 2026, and sea trials are planned to begin in autumn of the same year. RKIK says that nine European Union member states and 23 consortium organizations are participating in the project. Oddly, however, other sources like this graphic dated February 2025 from Baltic Workboat Shipyard lists 10 nations and 27 organizations. Denmark, Norway, Estonia, Sweden, Poland, Italy, France, Spain, Belgium and the Netherlands. The RKIK press release from late October lists all of these countries minus Spain. Making things more strange is that this other Baltic Workboats Shipyard webpage lists 10 nations and 23 organizations. But it's actually 9 nations because Spain is mentioned twice, and unlike the graphic, Poland is not mentioned, even though Polish organizations are on the list. Indeed, it's all very strange and borderline unprofessional, but we hope they can sort out their public messaging in the near future. Nonetheless, it's the small Baltic nation of Estonia that is the lead country for Euroguard. The member states are led by RKIK and the consortium Baltic Workboats. The total cost of the project is approximately 95 million euros, of which approximately 65 million is provided by the European Commission through the European Defence Fund. Euroguard project manager Atsiano was quoted as saying, The Euroguard project gives us an excellent opportunity to develop and test autonomous and modular solutions in maritime defence, where conditions are much more diverse and changeable compared to land and airspace. Yano adds that the knowledge and experience gained create a solid foundation for assessing the suitability of new technologies and developing new capabilities. While land and air defense technologies are developing rapidly, in maritime defense previous solutions have been rather theoretical. Euroguard helps change this. It is also important that Estonia is strongly represented in the project and is working together with important allies for us. That's it for the RKIK press release, but we'll show you this graphic once again so you can have a closer look at all of the organizations participating in the project. There are indeed some big names involved, including Norway's Kongsberg, Spain's Navantia, as well as Thales and Safran from France and Leonardo from Italy. The project's official start date was December 1st, 2023, and its end date is November 30th, 2027. Baltic Workboat Shipyard says that the medium-sized vessels should be capable of autonomous navigation, obstacle and threat detection, collision avoidance and other mission-specific tasks. It adds that the prototype must adhere to the principle of modularity, allowing it to be assembled according to specific needs or tasks. Innovation is also expected in the propulsion system, with environmental sustainability being a quote, important keyword. It stated that sea trials will be conducted in Estonian waters in collaboration with the Estonian Navy, and this will obviously take place near the end of the project's deadline. But that's everything we know about Euroguard. 
Between this project, the FCAS fighter project, the Marte tank project led by Germany and the European Patrol Corvette project, and probably others we missed, there seems to be a lot of research and development going on. How much of this will actually result in high-performing quality platforms is the big question. It's great that multinational projects spread the R&D burden out across the defense budgets of multiple nations. The problem, as we mentioned with our Marte video, is that there can be too many cooks in the kitchen and an increased chance of disagreement between participants. But let's hope that with Estonia's leadership, Euroguard will result in an attractive vessel for future maritime operations. And as a final note, we hope you'll subscribe in order to be notified of our future video about the European Patrol Corvette project. But what do you think of all of this? Let us know by leaving a comment.